There are double tread marks there. So we got an LSD. That's doo doo. I ran in doo doo. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to go through this Top R motor back here. I'm going to show you how to tell if you got a real one or if you got a fake one. Hey, some people like to build four man ITRs and pass them off as real, but uh, there are several different ways that you can tell. And it's not that obvious except for the block. And you still got to do a little bit of digging. But let's get it. If y'all have saw this motor a while ago, y'all would have been like, oh my god. It's so gross and nasty, I'm trying to clean it, and I'm fixing to go through and pressure wash it here, and I soaked it down with stuff. If you're going to do this, make sure you cover your distributor. You don't want to get it soaking wet on the inside. And then over here on the throttle body, I just took that big intake off that was on it. And we're going to go through and actually, I'm going to put paper and uh, bags in here, and then I'm going to wrap it. And... Uh, that way put tape on it uh also i'm gonna put tape over this so no water can go back in here now when you're spraying on this don't spray directly into it but uh we're gonna focus on getting down the fender wells and block area ac all this stuff up here doesn't matter but i'm gonna try not to spray directly onto electronic stuff once you do it and it dries and everything and get it all cleaned up a lot of people take silicone spray and you can hose it on down wipe it in real good and it actually helps and protects it but uh some people don't like it because it's slimy and stuff but makes it look good but uh i'm gonna go ahead and spray this down and then we're gonna get in with this all right i got it all sprayed down making it look a heck of a lot better now I took all my bags off like i said don't spray directly into the distributor because you don't want to get that wet inside there and then um you don't want nothing going into your throttle body and getting into the motor of course and you don't want nothing going inside the valve cover here so got all that cleaned up or blocked off got all of it done sprayed off over to the side now let's get into here and so this motor came from h motors online so if you ever look up jdm motors h motors online you got uh uh jdm engine depot tiger japanese well h motors they stamp theirs so if you look right here right here where it says b18c see that hmo if y'all ever get jdm motors and you wonder why it has a stamp hmo or h motors online or whatever and then here's another one right here on the trans this one was made it together and then they stamp it again on the head right here that way they know it's theirs it came together it is what it is now this particular motor is a 96 Type R and it was made in 95. So if you ever see one with a 95 on the head right here, see the nine and then the five, uh, that's how you tell what year it was made in. Don't freak out because uh, as long as everything checks out, it is what it is. So it's a 96 Type R, but it was made in 95. Just like you know how your cars come out in September of the year before. There you go. So. It's a 95 head, and then right here where it says B18C, y'all know how uh, the Type R or the GSR can be B18Cs. The way that you determine it is see the 1901191 right here. That 190 states that it's a 9596 model. So uh, it can be 96 or made in 95 or 96. Uh, now, if you have a 97 model, it will be 200, 200, and then four numbers after that. And then if you have a 98, it'll be 210, and then four numbers after that. The block is easy to determine. Uh, head, this is just a B16 head, and they put, you know, of course, a special valve train in it. Um, you're going to have green and yellow dual valve springs. Type R has dual valve springs on both sides, so you can check for that. And then you'll see the yellow and the green, they are actually painted on the valve springs. Um, now, also, you can check the cams for ITR cams. You can pull 
the cam caps and on the uh i will post a picture of the actually i'll post it all right here i got a listing i think with the 190 the 200 and the 210 for the different years on the box to show the year of the car uh, the head uh i'll show the pictures for the different itr cams to so you can tell if that's what they are so you can pull your cam caps and you'll count the rings and look at the rings at the end. And then um, you can pull a spark plug. You'll look down in the cylinder with a borescope and see P73 stamped on the piston. Um, now, the I think the 96 and 97s are hand ported. The 98 to 01s were CNC machined. But that's inside, close to the valves, and unless you have everything apart. There's no other really way on the head. It's not stamped P73, which they should have done. That would have made sense. And, uh, I mean, if they took the time to put P73 on this thing, when they made these with P72 and P30 and everything else, but then, you know, P72 for your power steering pump, because we're not going to make a special one of those for a Type R, but we made a special bracket. And I guess they did that because it's on the front right here, maybe. I don't know. And then the AC bracket will also say P73. And uh, on the intake manifold, they're stamped P73 right, let's see, right there. It's raised up. I can't, I can't get my phone really in there. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, then, let's see. Even the side covers right here, they're stamped P, they're P72 like GSRs. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter which ones are on there, but to me, if you're if you're if this is the cream of the crop, super duper high tech, best of the best, why not have all your casting numbers for these particular motors instead of using pieces from other stuff here and there? Hey, write your opinion. I don't know because that that's just how I feel, but uh, especially. A lot of people don't know this stuff, and I don't. I'm, I don't know all of it. It took me forever to figure out this stuff the other day, looking everything up, and uh, it just. I wish there was more out there on them, and a lot of people buy these. And like I said, with the B18C, they may be thinking they're getting a Type R bottom end, and then if they don't know what the numbers are, that's it. Well, then, and then on the heads, they're so easily fake. If somebody builds one of these. And you can get the dual valve springs, like I got a set of dual valve springs in there from my other type of head that I built. Then you could put all those in. You could do a little bit of porting, and it's just really, I, I hate that, how it is. But this one is stamped H motors on my like HMO everywhere. And uh, we know that this one came, and it is what it is. And that's not to say people in Japan, they do the same thing we do. We tear, they tear everything apart, they upgrade stuff. A lot of people don't like the 4.7 final drive, so they rip that fifth gear off and they put a LS or a GSR on it to give it a better highway use. Um, this is an S80. Let's see if I can scroll down right there. Without VIN tags on these, you can't really tell what they are, and you can't just run the number to pop it off. And that's what kills me, because me personally, I want something that I can see, run the VIN number, that way it's easy to determine but you know head is still your determining factor on these even on the trans now you can get out there and roll around 65 mile an hour and i think it's supposed to be around 4,000 rpm something like that uh i haven't drove a 4.7 type r in a in a while but I'm thinking it's around four grand and uh maybe 4100 even but uh now if you these are supposed to have lsd stamped on the side of them this person polish this one up so it's gone but if you want to determine if it's an lsd you can either pull the axle if they'll let you if before you buy it or if it's out of the casing you can look at it and see that it's lsd because you'll be able to see straight through with the axle hole you'll be able to see it all the way through on the other side if you can see from one side to the other it's a lsd and it if it's not it's gonna have a, the shaft that goes through it and you cannot see to the other side. Uh, another way to test if it's in the car and they won't let you pull an axle, go do a burnout. It'll leave two stripes if it's LSD. So uh, that's the easy way to determine.
but uh, I'll show you how they did this case right here. You can see the, the swirl marks in it where they polished it up and they about ended up knocking off that HMO right there because they, they polished it all out and it looks good when you do that and you get them all prettied up and stuff, but man, it, if you knock off the LSC, because it's either going to be stamped here or stamped here and I've seen them stamped in a few different places uh, sometimes up here, but usually it's just right there real big uh, LSD, so uh, it is what it is on that and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this valve cover. That way y'all can see what I'm talking about with the colorful stuff. And got to make sure you're getting a real type R. You're paying it big money. But uh, if I can find my bore scope, we'll stick down in there and we'll see that P73. But let me get my tools. We'll go ahead and pull this out and check it out. All right, so if you're wondering why I use mostly the hand ratchet instead of the uh, this thingy, I've had bad luck and I break these things. So I like to take those off as easy as I can with those. Now this thing needs an oil change. That is super gross. See the yellow underneath that valve? Uh, see it's on the valve spring, it's painted yellow. So the valve uh, retainer, it's just regular lightweight and then but you see the yellow ring right there i mean let me move my finger now all right look right there that yellow you have yellow on the intake side and you're gonna have a, a greenish blue they call it green but i'm telling you it's blue and that uh let's see i can see it i'm just trying to get a good bit a good picture where y'all can see it there we go see that bluish green right there all right, now let me show you what they look like out of the car. I got a set over here from where I took mine apart and uh, I built the head. So uh, the next thing, you check the yellow on the intake, the greenish blue on the uh, exhaust, and then you want to know, make sure that it has dual valve springs in it, uh, the little spring. And it's so hard, you really need a uh, little mirror or you have to get in a real funny angle. But uh, let me get over here and I'll show you these. Uh, valve springs that I took out my other top of head. All right, so see the yellow on there? That's how what we saw on the intake side. There's a little dual valve spring that goes inside it. And then same thing. So that's this. My camera's really picking this one up blue. It's a bluish greenish color. And that one too. And this little, that's real type R valve springs right there. And uh, same thing as that one over there. So this motor that's in this car is a type r uh i am going to go on through and i'm going to show you i'm going to try to show you the the cams situation and uh how to pull the cam cap off and verify that it still has itr cams in it because you don't know how much they're worth and if somebody pulls those out and just throws some b16 or whatever in there then you lose more money you know you want it to be authentic and some people's not going to want to let you do this and but i'm not paying for a fake one so you know nor should you so i'm gonna go ahead and get ready to pull the cam cap because i'm gonna show you how to determine on the end of it there'll be little lines all right so we're gonna go through right now we're gonna check the end of this cam that controls into the distributor where the groove goes i'll show you this picture right here this is what we're looking for it's gonna be a little groove going in out like that and uh here's the picture and then we're gonna go through and see if we got a real itr on the cams but let's pull this off and we'll take the 12 from the distributor off here and then you two tens right here i don't use impacts on these because these things snap and this one feels like it's oh my god these i'm telling you these things are so old and if they ain't been pulled off ever like this one doesn't look like it's ever been pulled off i really didn't even want to do this because i don't want to mess this thing uh motor up oh my god please don't break it and uh but i want to show it to y'all 
and uh, so y'all can learn how to determine this stuff because I wanted to know and I wanted to make sure that I was getting the correct stuff done because look you spend three thousand dollars on a type r swap or more especially a 98 to 01 they're a lot more you are gonna pay out the butt and you won't dang well sure so look what you want to do is you want to match now that i said that I forgot how i was telling you how this one's a 95 and then that shows that it's a 95 96 because it was made in a uh, the 190 so uh a 96 i guess a 96 could also be a 200 and it was made late 96 for 97. same thing with the 98 it could say 97 on the head and then be a 210 uh just keep that in mind as well because i know stuff gets funny hey people break stuff in japan too so uh yeah i think these motors are old they break something Get a B16 head to put on here because that's what it is. It's a B16 head. Oh my God. That just happened. So uh, just keep that in mind. And a little bit of port and all the correct stuff in there. It just it is what it is. Just make sure your numbers match up and just take it to heart. It's just going to be all right. Hopefully sometimes. Somebody used all real Honda stuff on here too. Boy, that looks good. Uh, but let me go get a 12 and I'll pop these off and I'll be right back. Y'all see my problem? Instead of me pulling over to the garage with the empty hole over there where I could have had light and see everything, no, it's getting dark. The sun's going down. And, uh, yeah. There we go. As I said before, I cannot find my bore scoop to save my life. Now, I did order another one and I'll be here the day after tomorrow, but I really didn't want to drag this out because I don't do that many videos as it is and... I'd like to get this one out and if y'all haven't hit that subscribe button please do because i've got like 350 subscribers and i need to get to that thousand mark that way we can get into an algorithm and then i might be motivated to do more stuff because we've got plenty of stuff to do we got evos mr2s s2000s uh more mr2s s13 crx's rsx's uh, Eclipses, FD, RX-7s, Del Sol, we got all kinds of stuff. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this off, and let's get up in there. We need to take this one off, and we're going to hope all these hold and not have no problems because I don't want nothing falling apart over there. So I'm gonna set this right here because we might have to put a little bit of silicone on there afterwards. God, I'm definitely gonna have to clean that back off. What did I do with all my rags? Oh, my head was not connected to me, boy. It would need whew, be gone. Right here is your distributor all the way up to here. Now this is the cam part right here where it's grabbing into the distributor. That silver part is a distributor. This is the cam. This is what we're looking at. That is for sure a Type R cam. You see how you have, uh, I'm gonna have to back this out. I didn't want to, I'm sorry. Uh, you see how you have a uh, outer ridge here, and then it goes down, and then another outer ridge. See that right there? I'm going at all different angles so you can see. Ridge on the right, ridge on the left, and dead center. That is a real type R cam. So that excites me. So apparently, you see this line right here? All right. Now these two, you know how, like I said a second ago, ring dips down, ring, and then there's a ring right here. On an American type R, there'll be two rings out here. But uh hope y'all can see that picture on there pretty good. Tonight, you can go to some of the forums, and there is somebody that put an amazing difference between the ITR, CTR, GSR, B16, and that that makes me excited right there that this is a true ITR. Uh, now, I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and post this video or not, because I really want to find my bore scope to show you the P73 on the piston, and then don't forget... Uh, I can see the dual valve springs down inside there, but you'll need a little mirror or 
get right over an angle like I was talking about and I barely saw the outline of the rings going down. I haven't even had a top R bottom end opened up. My top R head, when I bought mine, it was a bare block and because it, it spun a bear and he gave me the rods and pistons, but uh, crank was trash uh, and then head was fine, but uh, I ended up throwing a GSR crank in mine and building it, so any which way and i will not be pulling the oil pan on this because i do not want to start a leak down there i don't even want to put all this back together <laughs> but about to i'm gonna go get a little silicone dabble back on there drop that down and get the same throw back together and see if i can find that board barely dabbed it and just barely ran it right back down that trail where it was can't get it on there just how you want it put it on this side first and it don't hurt to put it on both sides just thin don't go crazy because it'll shoot out into the cam it'll shoot it'll, It'll make a big old mess, and we do not want to make a mess over here. Right back down on top of this. And I'm gonna tap this down before I put the cam cap, or the, the big long cam rail back on it. Drop this right back down where it goes. Make sure everything lines up. Now, don't quote me on this. I believe it's 18. God, I gotta look at it again because it caught my paper. I think it's 18 to 22 pounds on the 12 millimeter headed ones. These is like 96 to 108 inch pounds. So be very careful with those. Now I'm gonna run these down nice and easy. And then I'm gonna come back and I'll torque all of them. Come back and try to find that bore scope tomorrow. I really wanna show y'all that P73. And the only difference between a GSR and a Type R crank is one's more lightweight as far as I know. I may say everything wrong. I don't know. I might not know nothing. I might be telling y'all a bunch of fibs <laughs> on everything. Because, you know, when I learn stuff off forums over the years, you know, sometimes them forums ain't right. They are what they are. But, uh, I think we will be all right. Some of the people that I got some of this info from here were reputable source people. So, uh, I'm going to leave that right there. We're gonna stop for the night. Tomorrow we're gonna get up at six o'clock. Stacy's gonna come find the bore scope while I sleep. And uh, we'll finish this up. <laughs> well, everybody, it's the next day. I got everything out here and I found my bore scope. Now I got that. Let's tear this thing out and see the spark plug and stick this down here and see if we can find us a P73. Last night we just set all this stuff back on here because that, uh, it got dark, couldn't find the bore scope, and it was like, man. But we're gonna pull this spark plug out right here and uh, go ahead and got the bore scope and we'll stick it in there and see what we can find. So these stupid things were too close together and they were like almost even, so I couldn't get down far enough to see. So now I've got this one all the way up, top dead center, and that one's gonna be down. So now hopefully I can see down in there. And oh my god, I, it's like so. Yesterday was gloomy, it's a beautiful day today, but god, it's so bright. So now, let's try it again. Maybe have some luck. That way I'll be done with this thing. It cleaned up pretty well. And uh, move on to something else today. Now, I got a uh, Lightning McQueen up here. So it made it dark in here. So hopefully, I can see my dang light. And uh, yeah, I can see now. Now let me see if I can find the uh, P73 and I'll take a picture of it. I hope y'all can see that. See the, right there, P73. There it is, P73, you got the zero zero above it, the P73. This is a real top R motor through and through. Can't beat that. I think we done with this. Had the correct valves, springs, and uh, had the dual valve springs, had the green and yellow like it's supposed to, or yellow and green. And then uh, yellow on the intake, green on the uh, exhaust. Uh, the cam was correct. We pulled the cam, pull cam cap off, got all that done, and that was good. So now, uh, and then P73 on the pistons, and that's how you do it right there. But uh, this car, it's, it's it's got some rotor grids on it, which I like those, which I might put on the put those on my yellow Civic. Uh, this car, unfortunately, as nice as it is, I mean, the body's straight on it, and uh, of course, it needs a paint job and everything, but body's really, really straight, 
uh, I throw that bumper on it. I'm probably gonna drop it for a little bit. It's got AC, whole nine yards on it. It's got skunk two uh, front and rear strut bars, and it's got ASR subframe. Uh, there's the other skunk two, and then down here, we got skunk two pro two coil levers. We got skunk two lower control arms, ASR uh, subframe brace. Uh, I think it has the skunk two camber arms up in there somewhere. Can't see. But uh, then on the front, it's got the skunk two upper control arms. And it even has the lower control arms uh, right there and up there. But uh, I think I'm going to take all that stuff off. And uh, it's got the red line tuning uh, stretch for the hood as well. But over here, plans for this later is going over here in the Integra Type R that I have. It took me years to build this car, but I find parts here and there and get them cheap. And that's the key to not rushing stuff. If you can find stuff cheap, just set it to the side if you got space. Uh, it took me a while to get all this stuff on this car and when I'll go through it in another video and when we start on it, but This car has turned into a part like part storage car over here and I've got to get the Civic going back I missed that thing when it's hands is fun, especially in a stock motor. Everybody's like what? But uh, let me show you this car real quick. So this is the Integra Type R. It's a hard top subframe full right hand drive the carbon kevlar hood and this uh itr front end everything's come together got all this stuff got all that itr stuff to go in here now i need to go ahead and paint the engine bay get everything set up because they trimmed everything else out in black it's ready to go in black i don't want a black car if y'all uh see in the driveway over here we got this black s2000 got the black evo 8 uh we got the black Evo 10, black MR2, black Z4. Uh, I got black Del Sol over here. I just got too many of them. Too many, too many black cars, and they are so hard to keep clean. And uh, I don't know, man. It just, I love them. They look beautiful. It's great. But we washed all these cars the other day, spent time on them, went through everything, and it just takes forever. Hope that was helpful. Hope that was insightful. Hope you learned something. And if I got anything wrong, correct me. Because when it comes to this stuff, you read what you read. It is what it is. I may have been told wrong over the years. But um, I know the stuff that I showed, the P73 stamp, which that is a Type R, came from H Motors Online. Uh, did have the ITR uh, cams, valve springs, uh, check for the p73 the correct coating on the b18c the 190 200 210 so on and uh at least you know you can see the block right off the bat so that's good but everything else you got to kind of search for when you're buying stuff that's that expensive you're paying that kind of money for it you've got to check it out and if they're not willing to let you then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. That uh, move on or take a chance because um, to me, I want to make sure which I bought this from a friend and we pulled everything other than the checking the piston and the cam while we were there. But uh, I knew that he bought, he had paperwork on this and uh, they're moving and can't find it. But either which way, Hit that like button, subscribe. I need some subscribers now. We're around 350, I need to get to 1,000. And I might start doing some more videos. I really need to, I got so much stuff out here. But uh, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. See you later. I was gonna show you on the inside of this valve cover. I don't see any markings anywhere on this thing. And the oil caps, they are chrome. That's another thing for Type R. When you see those chrome valve or oil caps, uh, that one's old and gross, but I think you get a new one from Honda for like 35 bucks. Uh, I got one in there in the package somewhere, but, uh, some reason, God, I got this gross oil all over me. I thought these things were stamped. 
Let's run in here to the garage and see what my other ones look like that I bought new. All right, so here's the part number on the chrome valve cover. Uh, 156-10-P73. And uh, let's see. For some reason... It's not stamped either. I could have swore these things said P P thirty or something on them. Or oh well, I was wrong. But that's part number for that one. And uh, let me set this back down, and I'm gonna show you something on the LSD. So this is a OBX LSD, which would be the same thing as oh the Type R. Uh, See how you can see all the way through to the other side and see inside there? Those are washers stacked in there. Um, if this was a non-LSD, it would have a pin going straight through it. Now, you can't see the helical worms and stuff from the with it inside the car. So, But if you pull an axle, you'll still look right down through there. And you'll be able to see all the way through the other side. Uh, you'd have to pull both axles and sit, let, let it light shine through there. But you can still see the other axle. Because you can tell it's an axle blunted this way versus a smooth shaft going uh, vertically. And let me see if I got a dip over here and I'll show you what a non-LSD looks like. Alright, here is the non-LSD. See that shaft going straight down there? That's exactly what you'll see on a non-LSD. A blocking shaft going straight down. If it was an LSD and you could only pull one axle, you would see the flat face of the axle on the other side. Now, out of the thing, see they're open and they got those spider gears there. Now, you can weld them fat boys up and make it a straight posy. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't suggest that, but it is what it is. All right, everybody. It's going to be a little noise right now. I'm trying to let the battery charge in this one, so it's just sitting here going and... Uh, Plus, I'm trying to muffle out what I'm pissing to do. We're going to show that this is an LSD, and uh, I'm going to do it inside the garage right here. There are double tread marks there, so we got an LSD. And uh, now, of course, it started kicking in harder over here, and then that's when it kicked in here and pulled on out uh but yeah oh man that's cat doo doo that's doo doo i ran in doo doo and then there's doo doo and oh well, now it's all through the dang garage that's so gross look at one of them teenagers come out here and clean it up look i burned out in doo doo smoke that shit <laughs> that's the story of my life right there boy i tell you what now i gotta find something to come over here clean this stuff up and uh but it is lsd so that's good 